So here, we're adding fractions with the same denominator, but we have two answer boxes. That's because we can write our answer to these questions as both an improper fraction and a mixed number. So first, we have four-fifths, so four parts out of five on our fraction bar, and we're adding two-fifths, so that's two parts out of five. You can see that adding is putting things together, and altogether we have six fifths, because each of these is one fifth, and we have six parts. Now what we can do is push these parts together, and that gives us one whole fraction bar shaded, and then one fifth of another one. So as a mixed number, six fifths is one and one fifth. That's because six divided by five is 1 remainder 1, or because 1 times 5 is 5, plus 1 is 6, and that's our numerator. Next, we have 3 quarters, so 3 parts out of 4, and we're adding 3 quarters. Now, as an improper fraction, our answer is 6 quarters, because remember, each of these pieces is 1 quarter, and we have a total of 6 pieces. But again, we can push what we have together, and that makes one whole and two quarters. So that's our mixed number. And we can get that answer because 6 divided by 4 is 1 remainder 2. Or because 1 times 4 is 4, and then we need 2 more to get 6, and that's the numerator of our improper fraction. Now, 7 eighths so 7 parts out of 8, and we're adding 5 eighths. That gives us 12 eighths altogether, because remember, when we add fractions with a common denominator, the denominator stays the same in our answer, and we just add the numerators. And you can see that each of these pieces is 1 eighth, and we have 12 pieces altogether. But what is 12 eighths as a mixed number? Well, if we combine to make one whole, that gives us 1 and 4 eighths, and that's because 12 divided by 8 is 1 remainder 4, because 1 times 8 is 8, and then we need 4 more to get to 12. Finally, we have 2 sixths plus 5 sixths. That's 7 sixths altogether, because the denominator stays the same, and we just add the numerators. And because each of these pieces is one sixth, and altogether we have seven pieces. Again, we can change it to a mixed number, because if we group to make one whole, that gives us one and one sixth as our mixed number. And that makes sense, because seven divided by six is one remainder one, and the denominator of a mixed number is always the same as the denominator of the improper fraction.